So, this is where we left off in our last video. We have a triangle in our canvas and its parent is this white area which is the panel and in this video I'm going to uh, create a rotate button but first of all I'm just going to uh, color set the background color or the panel color with self dot um, set background color it's British color and I'm going to give it a hexadecimal value of 626D uh, and 58 now it will be a nice light greenish as you see in this area it's no more that pure white so after the canvas I'm going to create the button and call it self dot rot btn rotate button and way x that button and the parent will be the my panel so self id minus one uh, i will call it label start and stop rotation uh, rotation and uh, its position will be at 11.30 on X and 10 on Y and its size will be its width will be 100 pixels and its height will be 50 pixels so let me see it yes so as you see it's it positioned at 1130 and 10 from the top and its size is 100 and uh, 100 on uh, uh, horizontally and 50 vertically and uh, I'm going to give it here after the star stop a new line character so on So now it's start stop and the next line is the rotation. Okay. Now this button just does nothing. I'm going to set it set its uh, background color. And there are many ways to set colors. One is this by calling this method set background color. Other ways just on the object itself, so the rotate button object, just dot and background color, which is a member variable of this object, uh, and set it uh, like this. So let's see the background color will be. 125, 125, and 125. So it, it's a. It, it, these values ranges from 0 to 255. So this is red, this is green value, and this is the blue value. So now it will have this. 
this grayish background color and I'm going to set the foreground color which is the text itself to pure white so self that foreground color uh, not not rot btn dot foreground color equal to 255 255 and 255 so now this is the text on the button is white okay so let's set up the rotation and for that in the vertex shader first of all I'm going to create a uniform matrix so uniform mat 4 and I'm going to name it as the model matrix and here in the GL position I'm going to multiply this matrix with this vector 4 of positions and that's all for the vertex shader now get this uniform location from the shader so here I'm going to call itself that model model location yeah so that model location is gl get uni uniform uh, matrix or uniform location get uniform location where to find it in the shader and the name of the uniform is model so model so now that we have the uniform location from the shader I'm going to create here in the OpenGL canvas init method uh, self that rotate and this will be a boolean it will start as false and self dot rot underscore y and it will be a, a matrix um, first of all I'm going to import from peer import matrix 44 and uh, peer is is a linear algebra or algebra uh, library which can manipulate with vectors and uh, matrices so I'm going to create a, an identity matrix matrix 44 that identity yes if you want to know more about matrices uh, I strongly recommend you to google it because uh, if you want to do 3D stuff you will need at least a basic knowledge about transformations and all those matrix mat and so I created this identity matrix and now in the on draw method yes I'm going to ask if self that rotate so if rotate is true 
then uh, I'm going to create a CT which is a current time and the time that clock I need to import time too so import the time model which is built into Python okay so ct equals time dot clock and self dot rot y will be equal to matrix 44 uh, dot from y rotation from underscore y rotation and give it the ct or the current time and now upload this matrix uh, into our vertex shader so gl uniform uniform matrix mm, matrix 4fv okay so where to upload it to the self that model location so self that model location one matrix uh, the third value is just gl false i think it's uh, transposing the matrix so gl false and uh, the self dot rot y self dot rot y and else i'm going to upload the same matrix but now the rot y won't change in the else okay it's still not functional because here in the my panel i created this rotate button i need to bind it so self.bind uh, vx dot evt evt underscore button serve that oven or evt underscore button uh, serve that rotate rotate i'm going to do make the, this uh, function soon and serve serve dot rot btn okay now create this serve dot rotate method so df rotate self and the next argument is the event and uh, let's ask if not self dot canvas dot rotate if not self dot canvas dot rotate then self dot canvas dot rotate equals true else self dot canvas dot rotate equals false uh, self dot canvas dot rotate equals false I think that's all so let me check it I'm going to switch to main app mm. So now press the rotate button. Okay, nothing happens. And this is because uh, I 
I think we need to give self that canvas that refresh refresh so let me see still nothing uh, what I'm missing so that rotate so it's here it is false when I click the button it it is true okay I found the problem here I need to call self dot refresh uh, here in the, in this if statement and one more thing when we call the def on paint I need to call the paint DC on self so now it should work now the triangle rotates and if I s click it again it will stop rotating when I click it again it will start Uh, but as you see, now I just can quit the application with this button. So I'm going to quit here. And in the next video, I'm going to solve this problem too. So thanks for watching.